Well, I think as men, it seems as though we're taught to almost disregard our emotions or at least kind of push them to the side because they're too busy focused on business or hustling and you know yeah, moving forward this is what it looks like and it's it's always pushing the ball down the court and you don't have time to deal with these emotions good or bad really and so it's almost like we've been um, conditioned over time to just kind of let those things fall by the wayside and just focus on what's important to us right now. And I think we have these ideas of certain people that wear their emotions on their on their chest, like, that's not me, I, I'm not that guy. And it's somewhere trying to figure out that, that, sweet, that sweet spot in the middle, I think, um, where you can experience the emotions and use the emotions, uh, but not be on the extreme one way or the other. What people don't understand is you cannot do publicly what you don't do privately. Yeah. And what I, so internal dialogue, I call your private gallery. Okay. I call it the private gallery. Yeah. This is the first things you say to yourself in the morning. This is what you say to yourself when you step out of the shower. Yeah. This is what you say to yourself when you're in the gym or at the table or in your own thoughts driving in the car, your private gallery. And now you can fake it, <coughs> right? You can fake it for sometimes publicly. Sure. And you can just dial it in and you're like, you know, check those boxes. Mm -hmm. It's not sustainable. But it's not sustainable. I mean, you probably, I mean, you probably have seen this, maybe even yourself, but all of us know these people. They come into the office hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. and they're angry. And you're like, what has happened between when you got up to now yeah, that you're sure. so angry? And you know, that idea of they need, especially leaders, you can't just dial that back down. Mm -hmm. Even if you, like, all right, let's just do this. I'll just bury it. You can't do that. Yeah. So this idea of a private gallery, this idea of what you say to yourself, needs to be like some of the first things in the morning that you begin to change. Yeah. So what happens is we, we have these emotions, we put them in our little private gallery, and then all of a sudden when we do have a real conversation with someone, I'm like thinking of uh, like Anchorman when he's in that, that to uh, phone booth. And he's like, I'm in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> like it's like when you finally do have someone that's like willing to have that real conversation with you, you're like, <laughs> like I'm just gonna get rid of all this that I've been yeah. sewed up for six months yeah. um, because I'm not handling it one one situation at a time. And so I think that's <laughs> that's got to be key is to be able to handle those emotions when they come, so that when you do get all of a sudden the opportunity to to really have a, a conversation about what's going on that you don't all of a sudden just overwhelm somebody. And then there is gonna be hesitation mm -hmm. if you all of a sudden dump like, I'm lonely, I also think I'm depressed. Also, my wife and I, I'm just not sure, and my kids hate me. And all of a sudden you're like, oh God, like well, I, got, I need a second to, <laughs> to, to, take, to process this. And then you got that hesitation, which feels like weakness, and then it's just like, it's a bad cycle.